Hello, uh, everyone. Are we recording? Yes. Okay. Uh, today is November 16th. It's Tuesday. Here we are again, Chaos Weekly Community Call. Thanks for being here. Seeing so many familiar faces makes me happy. I hope everybody's doing good. Here's the agenda, in case you didn't see that. I think everybody already has their name in there almost. So awesome. Uh, we have a light agenda today. I'll share my screen. All right, move my chat uh, window. Hold on, hold please. Wait, I would just like I see I see Nicole just joined. I would just like to hey. to applaud Nicole for being on that podcast at five a.m. your time. Seriously, honestly, <laughs> oh. seriously, total like <laughs> unbelievable props for that kind of stuff. That's oh, thank you. I'm I'm hoping I was coherent. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. were. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you were quite awesome. coherent. Way more than I would have been, Nicole. Yeah. Yeah, oh, for sure. Well, uh, same I, here. Oh well, I was honored to be asked to to join. So thank you. That was amazing. Yeah. Hats thank off to you. you. Oh, thank you, guys. It, thank you, folks. It was wonderful to be there with all of you. Okay, uh, so let's get started. We have some items from last time that we carried over. Um, I don't know if we if we want to talk about this if we're just all feeling kind of done with making large decisions. I don't know, whatever. Um, but we did want to. Uh, I mean, this isn't that big of a decision because I think we've already decided we want to do it. We just really need to have a volunteer. So these are the two changes that we've been chatting about um, making changes to our metrics spreadsheet, which you can find up here, right here, you want to click on it. Um, we just want to add a couple of columns. One is to indicate the last release date for the metric. And the second is to, um, when we revise them, have just kind of a, se a separate column of where that doc is so that we don't lose anything, any of the original uh, links to the, to the published metric. Um, and so it will take a little bit of work to go back and, and backfill the metrics we've already done, um, but it, it's not hard. I think it's just going to be tedious. So I don't know if we have anybody who is looking just for something to do. If they are, reach out to me or Matt. Yeah, I, I or... can, I, I will unvolunteer Sean and I will volunteer myself for metric spreadsheet work. All yeah. right, are you <laughs> sure? Well, because I'll screw up the spreadsheet. He's afraid of me messing his formatting up. That's 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 all what that. it comes so down to. That's all. I it's Sala, had, Sala had done a lot of the work, and I've kind of been, I think, managing just the the layout of the spreadsheet. I'm not offering to like go back and track everything down. Maybe we can do that like working group by working group. But I can. Okay. I don't mind actually playing around with spreadsheets. It's kind of a weird thing that's oddly satisfying. Yeah. More power to you, Matt. There, I wonder, if yeah. the, in the evolution working group, there was some uncertainty about whether all of our released metrics are on the spreadsheet. I had been under the assumption that they were. I'm also under the assumption that they are. So, um, and Georg is also under the assumption that they are. So, the mm -hmm. I would say this group will over overrule what what the discussion was in evolution. I mean, we can cry, we can ask them, just ask the evolution working group to cross check. That shouldn't take too long. All but of ours pretty... looked, all of ours looked to be there, but. Yeah, I think at this point we have the, like from a person perspective, we have the metrics tracking release process down pretty well. Mm -hmm. So like, I think like the way that you talk about it in evolution is the same way that like Vinod talks about it in values, the same way that Georg talks about it in DI. You know what I mean? I think we're all pretty consistent now, which is cool. And so I'd be surprised if one group was off at this point on that one. I would too. I would, I would be, I would too. I was on the, are you sure? But there were a few folks who thought possibly they weren't. And so I guess. I'm going to trust that they are, and if we run across one that's not at some point, we can fix that. Yep, right on. 
And if we're backfilling anyway, we'll catch anything that has been released sure. and isn't on the spreadsheet. Yeah. So. Yep. Okay, thank you, Matt. German Prey. I can't make it do the, I, I don't know how to get it to do the automatic cool thing where it sends you the email. So yeah, I don't know. sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You put it, it in that comment. Can't, don't you have to like put it in a comment? Ooh. Okay, Eric just did it. What the heck? You add a comment and then tag me in the comment. Assign. Assign it. There yes. you go. You have been assigned. <laughs> ah. Awesome. Now I'm going to be assigning everything to everyone. Thanks, Matt. Everyone. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, now that that number one is out of the way, number two, metric review criteria. Uh, we are chatting about what to do, uh, like how do we know which metrics to review? Um, so we didn't decide anything. Do we want to decide something so that it's consistent as we start doing these reviews? In the common working group last week, we just said go, go to the oldest ones first. That's pretty easy to figure out. I think working group by working group. Oldest ones first. And just, I think at this point, like just go to the oldest ones first, and then just get as far as you can before the next release. You know what I mean? And okay, that sounds like a pro strat to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the kids say. I mean, they probably don't even say it anymore. I don't even know what they. Say. No, it's it, if they said it a week ago, you're already behind. Yeah, I'm already not cool. My, my memes aren't dank anymore. Um, okay, so we'll just ones first and get as far as you can until the next yeah. release. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna put on here from common so they know we didn't just make that up. Okay. Yeah, that's All right, good. any uh, other comments on that or questions or feedback, anything anybody wants to say? That all seems good to me. All right, it sounds like it's good to everyone else too. So I think, I mean, we have a few other things that were kind of like the DCO stuff. If we wanna bring that up, if we have updates, we can, um, but I know it's kind of a lot, you know, it's a light group and so, yeah. If there was something that you were working I, on. Yeah, I think maybe for the DCO thing, I, I think we all like Ray's suggestion of putting the, Kind of the DCO comment just up front. Where was that? And Ray had provided a couple examples of that. I, I let me run that just by some folks at the LF. Okay. Just to get a final right. like. Ray, did you do that with OPNFV? Uh no. Uh, okay. Yeah, OPNFV. I I don't know. Ilda goes here too. Like I think they actually had a CLA. Not oh. a VCO. Oh, so well, then never mind on that. Yeah, never mind. So yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> Kate was supportive of a couple of my examples too. So I, okay. I think she'll be supportive. Like I, I think Matt, you're gonna bring that up with Brian, but yeah, I will. I uh, just have yeah, if, so, yeah. No, 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 no worries. So if you CC like Kate and, and me, I think hopefully this is not a big deal. But, I don't think it will be, but I always yeah. like to kind of get yeah thumbs up okay okay all right thanks um actually matt i'm just gonna put another uh i'll just send, i'll send the email just after this meeting okay adding the statement about does that seem accurate? That's fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And actually, yes, that's good. Look at here. Now that I know how to do Got it. it. <laughs> Assign. Boom. Done. Love it. Uh, stop. <laughs> You're going to be so mad that you taught me. You're going to regret. Full of regret. Okay. Um, anything else from previous meetings that y'all want to talk about? You know, I think one of the things that came up, honestly, in the podcast today was um, just about like onboarding and new members. 
like how do we i agree with you i think like we are a, a really welcoming community and that's good and i think we have like when people enter or like put something in um, either the email list or they put something on slack or they join in one of the meetings i you know i think we're always quite welcoming and like recognizing the um recognizing people as they join and kind of asking about ways to participate i don't know what your thoughts are elizabeth like on how how we could formalize that process because like we have as we talked about earlier kind of a formal way that we release not formal but like a consistent way that we release metrics you know so like if you're going to release a metric you just kind of follow this process and we all kind of know what that process is now. And I'm wondering if the same could hold true for something like um, like mentoring. Like we all just have the same consistent message that we tell people, not mentoring, but um, onboarding. Yeah. Um, and, I, you know, I was I thought it was kind of interesting that um, Matt Snell, sorry, Kentu wrote this uh, um, this blog post about where we should start. And I know that he wanted to make this kind of a landing page on the website. So I think that this is a great start personally. Um, and maybe it won't happen until Kevin comes back. But uh, I mean, I think it's like, it's Kevin, kind of- Kevin's this, here. Kevin's on right now. He is? Kevin, what are you doing? I thought you were taking time off. I am slowly returning now, so. Well, you're going to regret that. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> Elizabeth knows how to assign things to people. <laughs> I, uh, I have I to leave early. Assigned. Okay. I'm, uh... <laughs> Bye. I, so, Kevin, as an aside, I'm really sorry. I tried to merge a, a blog post from Anita today, and I think I completely screwed it all up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it's out there in the ether somewhere. It didn't end up on the website, but it did merge. So my apologies. Okay, I'll, I'll take a peek. Aren't you glad you left? You left it in the capable hands of us. Um, anyway, well, I, I want to say I really like this format that Matt Kantu put together here because I I also noticed that we have um, a lot of the times when someone comes, we just point them to the participate page, but the participate page itself is overwhelming and not very guiding. <laughs> And then we also have the handbook, which has how to participate, how to join page. And we are not utilizing the handbook page very often. I just thought about this the other day. And then now we have Matt Kantu's blog post that kind of can combine them. Oh yes, and then there's the form that you have, which is also really great. So yeah, there are many different entry points that we have right now. It would be good to know which one should we promote yeah, I agree. And I think like, I think one of our goals maybe for 2022 is to kind of streamline the process and bring all of these little pieces together in a nice place. Um, I feel like what I've been telling people. So whenever anybody fills this out, I email them personally based on what they have chosen and try to give them a little guidance. Um, but I find that people are um, checking uh, quite a few things because they don't really know what they want to do. So they just kind of check a bunch. Um, but they don't really know the community well or you know at all so i've been kind of pointing them to this meeting as kind of a good entry point of like here's how to just get to know us and hang out with us and get to know what the project is about and like what the working groups do and just be you know part of that conversation even if you don't want to participate you can just listen in um, but i know that that's not super accessible to everyone because this is a weird time for some people and not everybody has this block of time open every week so um, it'd be great if we had a, a, maybe a, a more accessible entry point that would serve the same purpose as to just kind of be an introduction to us and to like what we're about and let people figure out from there where they wanna go. I think uh, the Chaos Participate page has all these things. Maybe we link this particular form to that particular page. If you go to the Chaos Community Participate, we have all the points over there that you can join the mailing list, you can join the Slack or everything they need as a starting point. So maybe I am we, with Georg. Go ahead. 
yeah maybe we link this uh, joining the chaos community form to that participate page i am with georg i think the participate page is pretty bulky there's a lot i mean it's not bad information but it's just a lot of information i you think know, that has... page that page is required though uh, so oh, it is. Yeah, doing, I'm not maybe it's not doing what we need it to do, but that page yeah. is. Uh, well, my suggestion was not to get rid of it. Just there's just a lot going on. Yeah, I, I like the I do like the idea of having the the page that is uh, a how to contribute, more of a, a walkthrough, a path to path to uh, like contributing. The one that Matt had put together, yeah. Matt can I like that yeah. a lot. Uh, and we do need to, to Vinod's point, we do need to link the, uh, that form into the uh, participate page as well, or maybe the... Okay. Uh, so maybe uh, even we can add uh, Matt Kintu's uh, blog post, which he has written and refine it and add it to the participate. So that will give us a pointer, okay, if you want to learn, maybe that we'll keep that as a first thing in the bullet point rather than mailing list or anything. I think so, it's a separate page. Uh, yeah, I think the, the, participate, is, the participate navigation would become a drop down uh, with oh. how to contribute being the uh, the first page in the drop down, maybe. Yeah, that is a good idea. I like it. I just assigned this to Elizabeth. <laughs> it's going to be the assigning battle. <laughs> uh, huh. It's an assigning tool. It's some kind of cage, cage match. <laughs> <laughs> but if the spreadsheet's involved, I'm out because I'll mess that up. Yeah, One thing. Uh, we had like a start, like I really like Matt's um, thing of just like start here, you know, and then funnel people out based on kind of where they. We, we seem to all like that. I agree. Yeah. Maybe we can even write a 200 page choose your own adventure book. I would love that. To be perfectly honest, I would love to write that. Can yeah, I have dragons? That, yeah, that okay. actually sounds pretty pretty fun, to be honest. Um, I don't have circus peanuts in it. You know, Georg has seven weeks off coming up, <laughs> and uh, I I I can't think of any better way to you know get your family engaged in the work that you do than to have them help you develop that book. Perhaps your, <laughs> your child could illustrate and. You know, your your partner could help with the storyline. Yeah, thank I'm seeing you. I'm seeing some family idea. activities that serve our needs here. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Collaborative effort. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're about. So I'm, one of the my plan is to 3D print the Catan board game and paint the, the pieces. That's my plan for this time. So one of the uh, one of the other things that I I had mentioned in the Slack channel uh, is about being more concise with the language. Uh, like for the for the newcomers Slack channel, why don't we just call it newcomers? Uh, and maybe the same can be said for the uh, the office hour Zoom call that's specifically for newcomers. Uh, just make really obvious kind of signs on on where to go. Yeah, I think we've talked about that a couple of times, and I think we all agree that we should do it, but we just didn't do I'll it. I'll just do it right now. I'll rename office hours to newcomers in Slack. That takes like two seconds. Yeah. Wait, to assign you. Yeah, I'm going to time you. You're already over. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to become second nature to me now. It's done. Oh, why didn't I get a... Oh, I didn't get a... Oh, I have to at you first. That's right. You can. I, I think Matt won this race. <laughs> I'm bad. Before I can even assign it. Sure. Okay. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Matt Cantu's not on here, is he? No. Well, Matt Cantu, you're awesome. Thank you for doing this right here. Because that's really great. So, all right. I just learned you can reassign something. I just reassigned that one to you. 
Dang. How'd you do that? <laughs> Just that. <I'm> telling. <gasps> <laughs> anyway, this is getting out of control, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? Uh, anything else from previous meetings? I did have actually did have one question um, about the operations team. Oh, uh, what do we? What's going on with that? Are we doing that still, or we we are? We really haven't coordinated that effort quite yet, to be honest it's with okay. you. So I, know, I think we're, I think yeah. this week we've been recovering from member summit, and, and I know that, that was last week. But we're busy right now. So do, is this something we just want to wait till like twenty twenty two to kick off? In earnest. Is that too long? Say that again. I just was um, wondering if you wanted to wait until 2022. To oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Right with the holiday. I mean, it's going to yeah. be pretty sketchy. Yeah. We may want to discuss holiday scheduling, by the way, in this, yeah. this meeting. Yeah, right here. I got oh. you. Oh, sorry. It's on my mind. Well, that was a great segue, Kevin. Thank you for queuing it up. Um, what do we want to do? Usually we do what? Take December off for meetings? Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we've taken the whole month of December off before. I mean, certainly, I certainly think like, go ahead, Sean. After week two, I think we have kind of shut it down, yeah. typically. And then through the first, like that three week block. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of is, is that January 10th. That's like the second second Monday or something like that of the new year. Yes, it is. So yeah. In the app ecosystem working group, we just decided to cancel the rest of the meetings this year and meet again in January. So yeah, I'm with Sean. I mean, I what why don't we say like the starting the third week of December? What's that date? Do you, anyone know? It would be, uh, well, that's December 20th. I mean, we could, oh, is somebody else talking? Sorry. Um, the Monday, there, December is Monday the 6th, Monday the 13th, and Monday the 20th. So, Clearly, we're not having meetings on the 20th, the week of the 20th. The question would be, do we have them on the week of the 13th, I guess? Well, I'm out, so y'all can do whatever you want, but you'll have to do it yourselves, because I won't be here. Why don't we just make the 6th the last week? Okay, so starting December 13th on? Yeah, the 10th would be the, the Friday, or I'm sorry, the 9th would be the last Thursday. Yeah. Okay. And whatever, whether that's common or value. Uh, and then do we want to start back up January 10th or the week before or? Well, then I would like the third is January. The Mondays are the third, the 10th, the 17th. So I would say just start back up on the 10th. Okay. The same that app ecosystem starts. Perfect. All right. And then um, the week of the U.S. holiday for Thanksgiving. It's um, next week. Yeah, do we want to take that whole week off? Do we want to just take Thursday off? What do you, what do you guys want to do? Oh, I'm, yeah. I mean, I was leaning towards the week off. I yeah, just, I was, yeah. I would lean toward the week off as well. Like, uh, okay. I, believe, I believe the, the like, maybe the, yeah, I think the risk meeting falls on Thanksgiving, so mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure we're, we decided not to meet then. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone, for sorting that out with me. Um, and as Georg put in here, the Chaos Cast podcast last release date is on December 3rd. So that's a, that'll be the last one for the year, not the last one forever. Just the last one for the year. That's the and one we recorded today. Yeah. That'll be a good one. Um, okay. Anybody have any questions at all about this holiday schedule or are confused about anything or? No, it looks good. 
All right. Um, okay, so number two here, Chaos Cast China has been launched. So Shoya um, basically just worked with Georg to launch a whole new podcast for us in Chinese. And it's on this, um, on this platform, which is all in Chinese, if I recall. Yeah, but here we are. And they already have 349 listeners. So, and they've done an um, episode zero zero was kind of a test i think to get um just to kind of get it kicked off and they already have launched their first episode so congratulations to the chinese community you are amazing and we yes. love you so much thank yes. you for doing that and love what you're just, doing. just a shout out to yeah, too shoya's never done anything like this she she just jumped in with both feet and just figured it out and it was outside her comfort zone and she just did it anyway. And I just love that so much. And I love that this is a place where people can just do that. You know, anybody has good ideas for stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you've never done it before, it's okay. Like we love that taking, taking chances and growing. It's awesome. So good for her. Um, if you do understand Chinese, go have a listen. And if you, if you don't, you, you can also have a listen. That's fine. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let that, let everybody know about that. All right. Any anybody questions? I comments anything? I, I mean, it's, it's just I'm kind of taken back all the time by the amount of work that that like Shoya and Hui and Willem have done, whether it's through the the meetups or the translations or now, now Chaos Cast. It's just really it's just so great. It really is. Like they are super passionate about it in the metrics models. Like they're very active in that group too. Like they're just awesome. We just have a really we're really fortunate to have such a great community over there, just being our advocates. It's really, really great. Um, okay, so number three, chaos, having two acronyms. I can guess who put that in there. That was me. So <laughs> so we're currently, um, yes, we're the community, technically it is community health analytics, open source software. That's it. There's no preposition in there. That's it. It's community health analytics, open source software. So then the proposition was community health analytics, no, wait, community health analysis of or for open source software. And the reason for analysis over analytics was just because a lot of the work we do isn't necessarily analytics work, particularly around DEI. Um, and so it's just kind of recognizing that work as well. And when the acronym was first put out, it was really, it was kind of aimed at the software, but I think we do a lot more about than software now, which is why I'm also proposing adding a preposition in there, whether it's for or, or whatever. So the, the option and, and the two actually stems from, I don't know if people know this, but the Perl programming language has two acronyms officially. So that was where the idea came from. We could change it all, but or we could just have two. So if you want to know the Perl acronyms, that's the the um, practical extraction and reporting language or report language, which is the original Perl, and then the other is the pathologically eclectic rubbish lister, is the other one that is recognized for Perl. <laughs> Today I learned. I did not know. <laughs> I don't know what people's thoughts are. It got some some thumbs up in Slack, but I don't see there's I don't think there's any harm in having two acronyms <laughs> for the chaos community. Maybe there are, but and I'm not I, seeing them. I think the I, I wonder if we have the acronym actually described in the charter or not. Did you do you know? Because maybe we I don't know. We, we just call ourselves chaos and everyone can use their own acronym. I, I kind of pushed back. I saw um, someone in Slack pushed back a little bit. I, I kind of pushed back a little just because it's kind of confusing for me to have more than one, even though we it uh, you know, I think it's more accurate to have two, but I think for me, it's simpler to just have one. And if we were going to have one, then I, 
actually really like the analysis change. So, but that's just my opinion, obviously. I'm looking in the charter. Yeah. Maybe we create a poll and get the feedback from the community as a poll, which one they prefer. It is in the charter, Georg. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean to create so much trouble. It's just, I just, I just don't feel like the current acronym fully recognizes all the work that we do. I think it was built around a particular thing that we did when we started. And um, even the structure of the chaos project was quite different. We only had two working groups. We had a metrics working group and a software working group. That was how we were structured originally. Yeah. And just things have changed. And particularly all around all of our DEI work, I just, I kind of lean towards analysis as opposed to analytics, but again, it's not something I'm. I could make an argument no. either way and I have no strong feelings either. I think consistency matters above all else. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, whether it's analytics or analysis, both works for me. And I'm with Elizabeth that if you're gonna use analysis, we should just do it across the board. All right, well, we can, maybe this could be something, we'd have to bring it up if it's in the charter anyway, to the board. This isn't something that, that we can decide as a community, so. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Matt, that was a good idea. Um, okay, so number four is limiting use of at here or at channel on Slack to only admins and Georg says a plus one. I would also give a plus one on that. I could that how, do, how do we do that? Where is that? Uh, it's in the settings. Uh, I don't remember because Slack is ad, admin site is so user unfriendly, but I think you can limit that in the settings. Okay. You know. Yeah, so whoever the admin is, and I mean, I, I was the one who added that because it's gotten a little noisy with uh, people just doing ad channel for not important stuff, so. I will, where that is, I'll look for it. Okay. Anybody have any uh, strong opinion, <clears throat> excuse me, strong opinions about not doing that? I'm not against other people doing work as a rule. All right. Well, I think we should change it. And then if somebody needs to do that and they're not an admin, they can reach out to one of us. All right. Moving rapidly along. Chaos Brand. Nicole's here today. I have a feeling you know that's not good. And me. Nicole is the chaos brand. Her photo will now be on all of our material. <laughs> she will be our, our new acronym is going to be our spokesperson. Like, we couldn't get Morgan Freeman, but we could get Nicole. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, you know when we were talking earlier about being such a welcoming community, right? I like how do you share what it's like to be on a call and have it be like the brightest part of your day. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, so I, I thought, Matt, that you spelled, spoke really well <clears throat> to this uh, in, in the earlier discussion, which is, you know, we've really reached this uh, point where we think we need something like this. Um, and Elizabeth, I think you might have put uh, it, this discussion point out uh, there, <clears throat> uh, but I'm not sure how much engage engagement we've had on it. Okay. Yeah, I put it in uh, the GitHub community repo. Um, oh, to, got it, okay. To join the conversation asynchronously. Okay. 
So I, I wanted to just um, get the get the conversation started, I guess, with um, just kind of uh, kind of gauging the temperature for um, you know it, this could be uh, you know as you know do we feel like we need a um, and, and we may already have out there, right, a, a full brand guidelines document. Do we, you know, we've, we've had that call um, uh, about, it was more a, a um, legal call uh, or, or legally focused call um, uh, a bit earlier, right? But do we feel we need a brand guidelines document? Do we feel we need templates to enable folks to create um, whether it be blogs or other uh, assets, uh, and when they're doing so, they look consistently chaos. Um, you know, what do we, you know, before um, we go off and do uh, work on this, I thought it'd be great to pull our, our community in terms of what we feel we need. Just kind of wanted to put that out there. I think it's a really good idea. I think it. I think it helps people talk about chaos in a way that's consistent with, um, with what we want. I mean, it's it's always nice for people to be able to just find the the logos and how to use them and what things should look like. I, I think it. I don't know. I find those helpful when when communities have them personally. Great, thanks, Don. So, so it, it sounds like a brand guidelines document would be, a, would be a welcomed asset for the absolutely our community. Okay, absolutely. Agreed. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Well, I I could start uh, to develop one, and we could you know. Um, work on one collectively. Um, I think I mentioned in that earlier legal call <laughs> that uh, the Yocto project, right, and it's um, a few years back that I had developed a, a brand guidelines document for the Yocto project. And, you know, I could certainly take that sort of as a, a template and um, work with the person I have to grab the contact, but work with the person um, at the Linux Foundation to see what they could also uh, contribute to this. But we'll we'll start that. Great, thank you. I think this also kind of touches on um, the citation do uh, documentation that we were talking about a while back, um, like how we want people to cite the work in publications and such. So that might also um, be related to your brand guidelines as well. Yeah, great, great point, Elizabeth. We could certainly put that in, uh, that piece in there as a section uh, of that uh, playbook or of that uh, guidelines document. Awesome, thank you, Nicole, for kicking Ooh. that off and Thanks. together. Um, anybody have any other comments or thoughts on this idea? No, I, I just, I think it's going to be helpful, especially as we produce different kinds of swag or the other kinds of material. Okay, cool. All right, we are at the end of the agenda. And we have seven minutes left. So is there anything else that we need to talk about while we're here? All good. Yeah. All right. So we will we will not we will not see each other next week? No. We will right? not. Correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know I don't you said calendar, but not and no in the same sentence. So <laughs> Okay, so we will not see you next week. We will see you the week after, but then maybe Correct. not. I don't know. I'll have to look at the calendar, but. See you yes. in two weeks. And we'll see we'll you in two weeks. Is, uh, yeah, that's the, let's go with see you in two weeks. I can, I can, I can follow that. 
lot. <laughs> Uh, I hope everybody has a really good, um, good week. Georg, have an awesome time off. We will not see you until 2022. So enjoy your family. Have a great time. Please don't check Slack or anything unless you want to, but you know, I'm not going to force you not to, but at any rate, have a great, have a great break. Everybody have a good week and we will see you all back here in a couple weeks. Thank in you. In a few weeks. Have a great, Bye, everybody. great week off, everyone. Bye. Bye.